Tom, good to see you again. Good to see you. All right, so we've got this really cool TV. We're going to do something extra special to it a little bit. Why don't you tell us what it does before we introduce the new stuff? Okay. So what we have on this TV is we have, uh, we have three settings on this TV. We've got it flat to the wall, which looks nice when it's off. Then we have it to come out and tilt for a better viewing angle for amongst this great room area. And then we have a tilt to where we can uh, enjoy the seating area over here. So the, the tilt is to come forward like this to take care of the glare. Correct. And then the second tilt mode to go over for someone sitting in the corner. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. So step number one is we're going to put the batteries into the wireless contact switch. Pretty simple. We're going to get a little boot up sequence there. You'll see that little light. When it's finished, the device is booted up. Now our next step will be to drag it into the composer project and identify it. And we identify pressing this little ID button. And I'll press that four times. One, two, three, four, maybe five or six for good measure. And as you know, in Composer, the Mac ID for the device will show up and the device is identified. So that's step number one. We've now got the radio, uh, the wireless contact sensor, into the project. What we have here is the chair occupancy sensor, right? You've got this little square pad, about 10 inches square, and dry contacts that come off of it. We're going to take these wires, very simple process here, of bringing them up through that little hole, okay? and don't panic about which one goes into where because after all it's just a dry contact there's no power on it we're going to stick these two wires into the tray assembly into these little this thing called a terminal pin block you get those wires in there push them to the back like so all right what we now have is we now have a free form chair occupancy sensor and what we'll do is we're going to stuff it into this couch cushion so we'll move the couch cushion. What I like to do is I take the, the contact sensor and I'll stick it back so that it doesn't create a lump for the person sitting in it. Then I'm gonna place the chair sensor in the most likely place where the person's derriere is gonna find its home onto the chair. We'll then put the, uh, put the, the padding back together. So that's what we've done here. Normally you would push the yellow button on the system remote 250, but I'm gonna do a one button press by having a seat. Watch what happens. I sit down, let's watch the TV. The TV tilts and follows me to where I've sat, giving me a better viewing experience. This is what we call really pimping the TV.